Hello my darlings and welcome back to Our Sacred Universe, a podcast where we meditate together. Our journey for today is all about balancing the four elements within your body. When the four elements are present and operate in unison, operate together, symbiotically within your body, you experience optimal health, you experience true happiness and contentment, you experience bliss. It is a lot easier for you to face the world and whatever challenges may come your way. And so today we are going to align the four elements within, accepting each of the elements as our great teacher and our great guide. And before we get started, just one quick note. If you would love to dive deeper with me, I have a book called 72 Keys to Manifestation or an Ancient Path of a Modern Day Alchemist. That book is available through an audio format, which makes the meditations in the book easier to follow. And that book is all about manifesting your best life, creating that life from energy. And so the book is going to walk you through 72 principles, energy principles. It's going to dive into how the energy works and how to become an alchemist, which is essentially how to be able to take one, like a particular kind of energy and turn that into another kind of energy or materialize uh, anything that you want. So without further ado, you know, on this note, why don't we settle in and get going with our meditation for today? Grab a comfortable seated position or lie down. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you're not going to be disturbed. And allow yourself to start focusing on your breath. Allowing your lungs to fill up with life-giving air. Imagine the particles of air as golden particles and as they're entering your lungs imagine that the air is alive expanding you cleansing you healing you with every breath that you take with every breath that you are allow yourself to take a deep breath into your heart space your heart space is a convergence of energies. It is the middle point. It is the central point of your energy body. And therefore, as we're looking to bring things together, we usually refer to your heart space as an aspect of your body that, go, that is going to help us harmonize all of the other elements. And so I want you to keep breathing in and out of your beautiful heart space, allowing your heart to expand and unfold, allowing your heart to be recognized as a catalyst through this process, allowing your heart to be purified, allowing your heart to be harmonized so that it can serve as a grounding energy all throughout this practice. Allow yourself to take another deep breath into the heart and hold for three, one, two, three, and now release. And let's do this one more time, taking a deep breath into your heart space and holding here for three, one, two, three, release. Please know that you are safe. Your guides and ancestors are watching over you the entire duration of this experience. 
I want you to imagine that you are standing in a beautiful valley. To the left side of you is a river, mighty river, majestic river. It is the middle of the summer day, and so the sun is really high up on the horizon, and it is generously sharing its warmth with you. Your feet are firmly planted on the ground. You are barefoot, and so you can feel the earth underneath you, feel the stability that it brings, feel the nurturing that it provides, feel the wealth of things it brings. And now you are also noticing a light breeze around you, ruffling your hair and your clothes, carrying away little leaves, washing you over with coolness on this hot summer day. And as you are taking in the nature around you, you focus in on the first element, the element of water. We come into this life through water. Life would not be possible on planet Earth without water. So it's only fitting that we pay homage to this beautiful element. I want you to imagine how your body is starting to fall apart into particles and become and is becoming water. You may imagine that you are part of this mighty river. You're one with this consciousness, and you're flowing, and you are alive. You are water, and therefore, you are perfect receptivity. You do not cower from obstacles or objects being thrown into your depth. For you are water, and you are adaptable. You are flexible, if nothing else. You are water, and therefore, you give life. You nurture things around you. You become them, to some degree. You are moldable. You are everything and everything is you. You are the principle of interconnectedness. You are here to connect the dots, smooth out the edges, cool off hot tempers, and provide a reprieve to anyone who needs it. You are water, and therefore you are one of the principles of the mother. You are a feminine energy, and the feminine energy is you. There are no rules or obstacles or regulations for your flow. You are freedom itself. You direct your flow by the virtue of what it is that you want. You do not have to adhere to strict rules or guidelines. For you are life force, and life force is not meant to be contained. You bring life to a desert landscape. You cleanse away anything and everything that needs to be cleansed 
when you become rain. You are a habitat for so many fishes and crustaceans and so many inhabitants of the seas and the oceans. You are water and therefore you are the element and the home to water elementals, mermaids and mermen, naiads, oceanids, so many more, so many creatures. You are water and that means that you are playful. You are flirtatious if you want to be. You are water and therefore you are lighthearted. Feel this feeling of being water deep down to your bones. Remove any restrictions that are preventing you from being water. Being water is your birthright. There is no wrong way of being water. Your way is the right way. Give yourself permission to be water today. And now imagine that the many particles of your body that at one point joined with this gorgeous river are starting to come together again and they are forming a new body in front of you. And this body is made of water. Little droplets and water particles that are making up your hands and your feet, your belly and your head. And you are transparent yet. You've never felt this full. You've never felt this right. Savor this feeling of being one with water, of not knowing where you end and the water begins. Savor this feeling and remember it. Now, let us set this aspect of you aside. The aspect of you that is water. Allow this aspect of you to wait while we are going to go on another journey together. Think back to your physical body and imagine that your physical body is falling apart into many particles, many cells, many aspects of itself. And now imagine that every particle of you is a particle of air. And so you go as far as the wind goes. You are air. You are high above the ground, watching things from above. You're watching the village and little kids playing in the grass. You're watching the river and the trees. You're watching the sky itself and the sun. And you know that you are truly everywhere. You can interact with anything and everything. If you choose to, you can quickly descend closer to the ground and give a quick caress to a little baby on their head or on their cheek. And the baby smiles at you because the baby loves the air. And you are gentle. You are free. You are what you choose to be. As air, you can be cooling or you can be hot. You can be fast or you can be slow. You get to be temperamental. You get to be so quick though. You get to be instant if you want. You get to be the storm. And as a storm you can rage as much as you want. Lifting 
little particles of dust into the air, sometimes lifting bigger objects, little twigs and leaves. And when you become a really big storm, you can lift truly heavy objects up into the air. You are air, and therefore, you are the freedom of expression. You get to be every aspect of expression that is possible in the universe. You get to be absolutely joyful if you choose to, or sad, or angry. You get to savor the moment if you want. There are no limits to you as air. As air, you can come in contact with any object or any place in the world instantaneously. Right now you may think of a country or a city that you have been to or would like to visit and notice how you as air are able to be transported there instantly. And now for a quick second, I want you to imagine. And now as air, I want you to imagine that you are being instantaneously transferred to a mountainous area. There are so many mountains around you and below you. You are air and therefore you are renewal. You are change. You are progress. You are all of the thought forms combined. You are a great intellect. You are a great masculine principle. You know everything that there is to know about reality. You are a wise counselor and guide. You are, perhaps, wisdom itself. You are a sage, sometimes a hermit, if that serves you, always a teacher. It is through your might that change becomes possible, that new cycles begin, that renewal recalibration is what is available on the face of the planet Earth. You are air and therefore you are everywhere. You are not meant to be contained, but you gently hug every single aspect of reality, every single object on the earth, and therefore you are a great connector. You are the in-between. Some say you are invisible, and yet you are ever-present, you are ever-attentive, and you are ever observant of anything that is going on. And so imagine how the many particles of your body that is air are gathering together into what resembles a human body, a human body made of air particles. You, you can look at your hands made of air and your feet made of air and your heart made of air and all of your internal organs made of air and even your hair made of air. Allow yourself this time to savor what it feels like being air, the freedom that it brings, the relief and the release that it is, but also the strength. Feel the masculine strength of air, the might, that is the storm, a tornado, a hurricane. You can be mighty if you choose to. There is so much power in you. And now let us leave our air aspect aside and move on to the aspect of you that is fire. Going back to your physical body, allow your physical body to split itself into a myriad pieces, each one becoming a small fire. Together, these aspects are forming a river made of fire. 
You are fire, the fire of the volcano, the fire of the hearth, the fire that is physical, and the fire that is energy. You are one of the masculine principles of energy. You are fire, and therefore you came to ignite. You are fire, and therefore you are the first domino. You are fire, and therefore you are courage and the cleanse. You are fire and therefore you are decisiveness itself. You are fire and therefore you are destruction, destruction of everything that no longer serves you or the world. You are fire and you are plasma. You are the might of plasma, one of the forces of God. You are fire and therefore you are one of the healing principles because you dissect matter into simpler particles that can then be formed into bigger things. You are a fire and therefore you are a beacon. You are a light. You can warm up. You can help things grow just like the sun does by shining your light upon them. You are fire, and therefore, you bring the truth to somebody's understanding of themselves. You cleanse away the fear. You cleanse away and burn away the insecurities. You burn away black magic and the evil eye. You are fire, and therefore, you are a great redemption. Allow yourself to feel your body as fire. You can pick the fire of a volcano or the magma within the earth or the fire of the sun, whichever aspect of fire resonates with you the most. But just feel how uplifting it is to be fire. Feel the strength of this element, the courage, the potency. There's nothing quite impossible for the fire. Allow yourself to merge with this energy, fully becoming it. Feel into its spirit. Feel into its emanation. Allow the fire in you to burn brighter and brighter, lighting up entire worlds around you. Allow the fire to become the purge. Allow the fire to remove anything from within you that does not belong. Allow the fire to burn away anything that is stopping you from things, from doing the things that you want to do, or becoming the things that you want to become, being the things you want to be. And now allow the many different particles of fire to gather together into one big body, your body made of fire. Watch and look at your hands, turn them around, your hands made of fire, and your elbows that are made of fire, and your shoulders that are made of fire, even your neck and your face is made of fire. And then if you go down your body, your chest is made of fire and all of your internal organs are made of fire. And your feet and your knees and your hips are made of fire. You are fire and therefore you are one of the primary elements. And you contain within all of the blessings that the fire is. Without reservation, without judgment, without resistance. Now for a quick second, let's leave the fire element and come back into your physical body. Focusing on the earth between and beneath your feet. And allow your body to be momentarily broken apart into Millions of particles, millions of particles, it is you. 
and allow the many min millions of particles that is you to be merged with even the earth itself, the nurturing soil of Mother Earth, of Mother Gaia, the soil that is nurturing, the soil that gives life, the soil that is a home to so many species of animals and plants and insects. You are Earth, and therefore you are a mother element. You are love and nurturing. You are forgiveness. You are compassion. But you are also stability. You are the foundation, the ground under somebody's feet. You are the rock that somebody can hold on to. You are the organizing principle. You are something that maintains matter. You are the earth and therefore you help form the bodies of all living creatures on earth. You are the earth and therefore you are all of the minerals in the earth. You are also all of the crystals. You are all of the rocks. You are the vast terrain of land, of planet Earth, and therefore you are huge, you are mighty, and you have power. Now, naturally, you are very silent, but don't mistake that silence for a sign of weakness, for weak you are not, in fact, strength is your middle name, the strength of a mother's love, the strength of your calm, cool, nurturing presence, the strength to give life, and the strength to absorb death in a way that creates more life in the future. You are the earth, and therefore, you are one of the principles of harmonization you are able to take so many disharmonious things and harmonize them. You can bring things together. But you are here to heal, to feed, to nurture. You are here to help sustain life. You are here to multiply. You are the principle of abundance. You are the principle of gestation. You are what causes things to grow. You are what causes things to expand. You are both a path and a destination. And as Earth, as you become Earth, I want you to feel like the Earth feels. I want you to feel the many feet of human beings that are walking upon your surface, upon your soil. And every step that they take, you feel. You're feeling the soles of their feet, every vibration of their being. You're feeling the baby feet of children and the feet of elderly people and you love all of them equally because the entire humanity are your children. I want you to feel the deep roots of the trees that are submerged inside of you. All of the nurturing that you are giving them and everything, all of the goodness that the trees do Feel the magic flowing up the roots of the majestic oaks and majestic birch trees and beautiful wisteria trees. Every tree, unique, having its own imprint. As earth, you can feel the soft sounds of water running above you and the soft whispers of the water inside of your body flowing through many underground channels. You are a container for water. 
You are a container for life. You are earth and therefore you have a mighty resource. You are the resource that life is built upon and resourcefulness itself. There is no lack of anything in you. You are the presence of all things and the presence of all matter. You, therefore, are the creative principle, the beautiful creatress that is excited to birth new things, to help things evolve and grow. And so, as you're gathering all of the different particles of Earth into one human body, I want you to look at your hands that are made of Earth, and your skin that is made of earth, your chest, your feet, and your neck and all of your organs are made of the earth element. And feel how deep, calm, easy it is to be the earth. How it feels all-encompassing how it feels balanced and equalizing. As the element of Earth, you have no rivals and you are in no hurry. You are connected to eternity. For what is time if you are the Earth? As the Earth, you have no constraints. And you watch cycles come and go. As the Earth, you are acceptance and you are abundance. And now that all four of your aspects are thus anchored, it is time for you to start bringing them all together. Starting with the aspect of you that is water. I want you to imagine how your body made of water is starting to merge with your body that is made of air. It's like one becomes an overlay on top of the other. Start merging the two from your fingers. So the fingers on your left hand align all of the five fingers and then the fingers on your right hand align. And then make sure that you're merged through the elbows and the shoulders and the back and the stomach area and the chest and your heads emerged. And finally, your feet become merged as well, toe by toe. And your kneecaps fall into place. And so you become the merged energy of water and air. Feel this in your body, how there is more of you, perhaps than there has ever been because there is no resistance in you and therefore you're so much more. And now imagine that this connected body of water and air is becoming merged with a body that is fire. For this one, start with the head, gently nestling the head of fire over and above the merged water air head and from there connect the two spinal cords and move down to your legs going down and down until the feet become merged as well and finally merging the hands and the arms so that your aspect that is fire can be gently overlaid the combined air and water aspect. You may feel a slight heat in your body or tingling sensation. It is completely normal. And even if you don't feel much at all, this is also okay. Lastly, make sure to start merging with a fourth aspect 
that is the earth. Imagine that that fourth aspect is being overlaid. It is being glued over, if you will, on top of the other three aspects now combined. The easiest way to start the merging is through the soles of your feet, stepping with your earth feet into the combined aspect of water, air, and fire and grounding your newly found body into your aspect that is earth, your aspect that is abundance, your aspect that is the nurturing mother. And then watch as from the soles of your feet, your earth aspect becomes merged with the other three, going up, up, up your body, merging things in the hip area, and then going up to the chest and the neck and the head, and finishing with the hands and looking at your fingers and fingertips, you notice that you are finally one. And now that you are these four elements combined, I want you to imagine that a spiral of golden light emerges over your head and this spiral enters your body through the crown chakra above your head at the top of your head and starts to move down and it starts to mix the four elements within you as if a spoon would mix up the sugar with your coffee and so the spiral is moving up and down mixing and merging the four elements further creating a perfect concoction that is your body merging the elements according to your perfect blueprint, according to how the source consciousness originally conceived of the human body. No element is left behind. Your power is now complete. You are a harmonious juxtaposition of all these elements. You are, therefore, a miracle embodied Notice how the spiral goes up and down the spinal cord, reaching as low as the soles of your feet and going up back to the crown. And also make sure that the spiral takes some time to go into each of your arms, starting with the right arm and mixing the four elements in your right arm, exactly how they're meant to be put together. And the same is true for your left arm. So when the spiral gets to your left arm, all the elements become mixed. And notice that the more the spiral works inside of you, the more your skin begins to glow. And now you're starting to emanate light in every direction, like a being renewed, like a being harmonized, like a being recalibrated. And thus, your transformation is complete. You are the water. You are the air. You are the fire. And you are the earth. You are all of them combined into one perfect human organism. Allow this balance to stay with you for many weeks to come, bringing you closer to who you are meant to be bringing you much joy, bringing you much bliss in the here and now. And now I want to invite you to start slowly coming back, starting to move your fingers and toes and torso. Feel free to stretch a little bit, bend your neck or knees if that feels good. Allow yourself to take deeper breaths to complete this integration. And whenever you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed our journey today. I certainly did. This has been really deep energy work and I commend you for going through to the very end. 
I know you will feel big difference in your perception of your own body, but also your body is meant to feel different, lighter after this, because we were also able to release a lot of the suboptimal energies and some of the resistance that you had. So I hope that you enjoy the aftermath of this journey, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!